All right, baby, are you ready to watch? Yeah, Marvin, I'm excited to watch Shark Tank. Oh, my films, I got you some SpaghettiOs. I never asked for SpaghettiOs, Dougie. But you look so really all that be all that hungry. I don't look hungry. Yes, you do. Here, look, at least read it. What, read it? What could you have possibly spelt with SpaghettiOs? They're all O's. What? Marfin, please, Call of Duty. Marfin, please give me the new Call of Duty, please. I'm not getting you the new Call of Duty, Dougie. Also, these aren't SpaghettiOs. These are alphabet letters. The, the, the SpaghettiOs only have O's. Oh. Yeah, and also, my name's not Marfin. It's Marvin. I want a muffin. I didn't say muffin. <laughs> Look, and also, 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 I'm not getting you the new Call of Duty. You can buy it yourself. But I need it. I ain't got no job. Oh, you ain't got a job? Well, no. I, got, I got an idea. All right, Dougie, I got this. I thought you was going to go get your wallet. Why would I go get my wallet? <laughs> to give me $60 so I can get the game. I'm not getting you new Call of Duty, Dougie. I got a suit. See, I told you I was hungry. I'm not hungry. Read it. Who's Bob? Did you get it? See, I can't read. But why the fuck were you staring at me so long? <laughs> you can't read. You just told me you couldn't read. Because it looked good. Really, if you can't read, then how would you spell Marfin, please, Call of Duty? I pay someone five dollars to do it. If you paid someone five dollars to do it, you could use that five dollars to go towards the game. Well, see, it was an investment. See, I paid five dollars, so hopefully get a sixty dollar game. All right, listen, it says get a job. Well, why'd you put it in the soup? You could have just told me that. You could have just told me to get a new Call of Duty. But then you would have said no. I did say no. <laughs> what? But listen, me and Rose are going to watch the new Shark Tank episode, and you're going to watch it with us. Well, see, I don't understand why you're going to sit around and watch a bunch of fish swim around and take and stuff when you can just give me six dollars and I get a game. Look, watch this show. It might inspire you to make some money. Four sharks who are all billionaires are looking to invest their money into the next million dollar product. Hello, sharks. My name is Jonathan, and I live in my mother's basement. So, sharks, how many of you have went to go watch anime on your laptop? And then, all of a sudden, you have to blow your load of boogers. So you grab your tissue, and then you blow your load into it. And now, you start watching anime again. But then, 15 minutes later, all of a sudden, you have to blow another load of boogers. So you reach in your tissue box. You know what they mean. You know what they're implying. Your mother hasn't went to the store in three weeks. Well, now what are you going to do? You have to blow your load of boogers, and you have no way to do it. Blow your well, load of boogers. I have created a solution to this worldwide problem. Introducing to you the Come With Me rack. Wherever I go, this bad boy comes with me. And it's machine washable, so it's reusable, so it's better for the environment than just regular tissues. And this bad boy can hold so many loads of boogers. So sharks, who's ready to blow their load of cash with me? Uh, I, I have a question. Uh, what material is it made of? Is it soft? Because I have kind of a sensitive uh, nose. Oh, I have a sensitive nose, too! So I made sure to make this out of That's just a towel. Rocks. This is made out of 100% pure Egyptian cotton made in India. Can, can I feel it? Of course you can feel it. Oh, thank you. Wow, wow, this is soft. Uh, yeah. Ah, you know, That's I actually guys. have to sneeze. You mind if I blow my load of boogers into this? Sure! Blow all the loads of boogers you need! Mm, that did feel good on my nose, but... Ah, it's kind of a weird smell. It smells kind of salty. Oh, that's because I had to use it on the way here. I had to blow a quick load of boogers into it. Ew! I have a question. How many loads of boogers can you blow into it? I would say five loads of boogers. First, you want to work your corners. Then, you want to work your way towards the middle. Does it come in any different colors? It only comes in white, so you don't see the booger stink. I don't understand the product. It looks like any towel I would find at a store. Shut up, lady! This product's not meant for you! Well, I'd like to make an offer. I'll give you $200 for it. Yo, sucker! This is just a regular watch slot from Target! No takesy backsies, no pay up! I knew it! Well, deal is a deal. Give me that bad boy. Yo, Marvels! They just gave that man $200 for a washcloth? Well, usually you're supposed to invent something and then the sharks will invest their money into it. So if I go on a show, they're gonna give me $60 for the new Call of Duty? No, they're not gonna give you money for Call of Duty, but if you invent something and they like it, they'll invest their money and then you can make money for Call of Duty. Oh, okay. I got some easy ideas. Keep watching the show. I'll be right back. <laughs> 
The sharks are ready to hear the next invention. Hello, sharks. My name fast. is Eat Your Boy Dougie. And my invention is to give me money box. So what you do is you put money in the box and then I have it. So who wants to invest? I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Now hold on. I have a question. When I put my money in the box, where does the money go? It goes in the box and then I take it out and then I have it. Okay. But how do I make money? Well, you ain't gonna make money. You just gonna make me happy because now I get the game. The game? The brand new Call of Duty. I need it. Yeah, I'm out. What you mean you out? You out some money? I know you ain't out some money because I know you rich. Y'all know you can afford to give me six dollars. Leave. Okay, I'll take my money back somewhere else. Marvin the Mean Sharks on TV was mean. They said no to my invention, and I know it's a good idea because I'm like Thomas Edison. It's not a good idea. On it. What does anyone else want to invest? No. Well, since I was on TV, I'm famous. So I'll only charge you sixty dollars <laughs> for my autograph. I don't want an autograph, Dougie. If you want sixty dollars that bad, go get a job. Ooh, Marvin the Bear in town. Can we go? No, all the rides make me nauseous. Well, we don't have to ride rides. We can just play games and win prizes. But the games are scams. Last time I lost a hundred dollars. <gasps> Marvips, did you say scam and a hundred dollars? So all I got to do is set up a game and people will give me a hundred dollars? Well, no, the games at the fair are scams and they charge you a lot of money to win cheap prizes. So I wouldn't suggest doing that. Oh, thanks for the idea, Muffin Man. You can have my box. Dougie! Come on, come on, and Dougie's Dungaroo. Oh, I want to play the game. Yeah, me too. All right, well, let me tell you how to play. First, you pay me ten dollars and then you get two shots. If one of your shots makes it one of these holes, whatever the number next to the hole is, is how much money you got to pay me. So if it goes in the 10 hole, you got to pay me $10. If it goes in the 50 hole, you got to pay me $50. Wait, so we have to pay to play, and then we have to pay again if we win? Yeah. Well, then why would we even play? Because it's really fun. Look, I even give you two free shots. Go ahead. Oh, a free shot. I'll go first. Oh, I almost made it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I got ten. All right, now you owe me ten dollars. Wait, you said it was free to play. Well, it was free to shoot the shot, but if it goes in the hole, you owe me ten dollars. What? This is ridiculous. I'm not paying. Come on, Junior. Wait, I'm gonna call the pop. Are you stealing from me? Hey there, somebody called the cops about a robbery. I did, Mr. Police Officer Man, because some kid don't stole ten dollars from me. Okay, where'd he go? He went that way, wearing glasses and a shirt. So he just ran up and stole your money? Well, no. What I have is this game called Dougie's Dunkaroo, and what you do is you pay me ten dollars and I give you two shots, and if one of your balls goes in one of the holes, whatever the number next to it is, how much money? You gotta pay me. Well, the kid made it in a ten dollar hole and he ain't give me no ten dollars. Well, I can't say I blame him. I mean, this kind of sounds like bullshit. Well, what I did was is I gave him two free shots, and so he made one of them in a ten dollars and he ain't paid me. No, this kind of sounds like you're trying to scam people. Well, the fair does it. Well, yeah, but that's the fair. This is somebody's house. What, Dougie? What are you doing? Welcome to Dougie's Dunkaroo. What you do no, is you pay no, me ten dollars. No, 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 no. He's trying to scam people out of the money. Dougie, I told you not to do that. Why well, I ain't mean to you. Told me the fair did it, and you got scammed out of a hundred. I think you two should probably just get out of here. Come on, Dougie, let's go. Oh, I want to play this by myself. Uh, oh, damn it. Oh, Dougie, I cannot believe you tried scamming people. But you told me I could do it because the fan done did it to you. No, I never said you could do it. Marvin, keep it down. I'm trying to read my book. Well, I got an idea of how you can make money, Dougie. You could try writing a book, because the Harry Potter books have made billions of dollars. But Marvin, he said earlier he can't read. Yeah, Marvips, you just be trying to make fun of my disabilities. No, I'm just trying to help you make money so you can get your stupid game, because writing a book would make you a lot of money. Hmm, I guess I could try writing the books. Hey, can I borrow your books? Oh, yeah, I think you'll like it. It's about a boy named Harry Potter, and he casts spells. What type of spells? No, he casts spells. He's a wizard. Oh, okay, I think I know what I was going to write about. I can't believe you gave Dougie your book. Marvin, I think it's nice your friend is trying to read. Oh, uh, Marvin, I wrote my books. Harry Potter and the Unknown Smell. Well, Dougie, get, get that out of here. Now I'm going to ruin the ending for you. The Unknown Smell was his Harry Potter. Dougie, that was very inappropriate, and you didn't write that book. All you did was tape a picture to the front of her book. You ruined my Harry Potter book! Well, I'm just trying to get some money for the game. Listen, Dougie, if you're this desperate for money, why don't you donate a kidney? What's a kidney? Well, look, it's something in your body. You have two of them, and you can donate one for money. Well, how are they going to get it out? They're going to do surgery and cut it out. Well, that's going to hurt. Yeah, it's going to hurt, but it'll make you money. Ooh, money? Well, I got some easy ideas. All right, my bips, I got my kidney. What? Dougie, that's not your kidney. Yes, it is. No, that's made out of Play-Doh. No, it's not. I see the container right there. 
Don't tell nobody. I'm not going to tell anyone, Dougie, but no one's going to fall for this. No one's going to think this is your kidney. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? You called a doctor? Yeah, because I got to get the money for the game. Yeah, Mr. Doctor Man, I want to sell my kidney for $60. But, but the, okay, hold on. I have a number of questions. First of all, how did you even get your kidney out? I pooped it out. But you, you just, you pooped it out? Yeah, I was sitting on the toilet, and I was so really constipated, and then after I went boo-boo, I got up and I looked down and said, there go my kidney. So here go my kidney. I didn't even know it was possible to poop your kidney out. It, how long has it been out? Because it only stays good for a few hours if it's not on ice. Oh, uh, about four or five minutes. Okay, and you only want to sell it for $60? Yeah, well, how much can I get for it? I mean, kidneys usually go for thousands. Okay, well, then that. No, 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 you said $60. Oh, well, plus taxes and fees. What, taxes and fees on what? The, 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 new, the new Call of Duty game. Wait, wait, so you want the new Call of Duty for your kidney? Yeah. So if I go get you Call of Duty, you will give me your kidney? Yeah, that's a deal. I mean, that seems like a good deal for me. I mean, we actually do have a patient who needs a kidney. Uh, okay, I'll be right back with Call of Duty. Wait, you, you can't let him take this kid. You gotta tell him the truth. There's someone that actually needs it. Well, I really need the game. <sighs> okay, I'm back with the new Call of Duty. Oh, oh, I just got a new Call of Duty. Yeah, I just have to get this kidney back to the little eight-year-old boy who really needs it. Uh, that's what I gotta oh, tell no, you. sorry, I'm in a hurry. Hey, you just saved a life. No, 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 I gotta take some... Oh, don't get an eight-year-old boy gonna die because of you. Oh, that's fucked up. But well, at least I got a new Call of Duty. I just got a new Call of Duty. I just got a new Call of Duty. I just got a new Call of Duty. So now I'm going to play it. Dougie, that kid is going to die because you gave him a fake kidney. Why? That kid already has two knees anyway. How many more knees does he need? What? Well, I'm just going to play the game. So hold on. Uh. Hey. What are you doing now, man? I'm playing the game. Well, what's wrong, doctor? Well, I got all the way back to the hospital, and I told that little boy and his family, congratulations, you're going to live. I found a new kidney for you. So they all celebrated and cried, and then when I went to go put the kidney in, I realized it was Play-Doh, and I ate it because Play-Doh smells delicious. So now my stomach hurts, and that little boy's mad at me because he thinks I ate his kidney, and it's all his fault, and he owes me $60 because I bought him Call of Duty. Well, I got an idea I can pay you back. Come on. Welcome to Dougie's Dunkaroo. No, no, no. I don't want to play this game. It's a scam. Well, this time the rules is different. For every hole that you make, that's how much money I pay you. Mm, okay, yeah, I like that. But you got to do it with this ball. Okay. Um. Uh, damn it. 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 This game is hard. Uh, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. God damn it. Damn it.